Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ken, your dual licensed sports chiropractor and certified athletic trainer. And have you ever wondered how to get that kink out of your neck when you wake up and you can't rotate your head because something is stuck in there? Well, today I'm gonna be talking about the exact formula on how to get rid of that kink in your neck first thing in the morning from the convenience of your home with no equipment at all. So stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna be talking about three steps and step-by-step -step guide on how to get that kink out of your neck first thing in the morning with no equipment needed. Now, as we talk about this step-by-step -step guide, it is important that you go in this order to get the best outcomes that you're looking for. So you just woke up, you try to get out of bed, and it's like, whoa, it's even hard to get your head off the pillow to get yourself up. You get up, and now you're trying to look around, but now you have that stiffness in your neck, and you're like, crap, I have to get this out because I gotta go to work. The first thing you wanna do, because usually this occurs in the morning, is you need to get your blood moving. Now, there's many ways you can do that, and I'm gonna teach you the first step. So the first step to getting the blood flow in your neck joint is to actually get slow movements back in that joint. When the joint is stiff, there's a lack of lubrication within the joint. So here's the movement that I want you to do at home. What we're gonna do is called a simple chin tuck. So we're gonna grab our finger right here, place it on our chin, and we're gonna posteriorly translate our chin backwards. Now what that means is you wanna stay parallel to the ground. So I'm gonna go sideways. What you wanna do is place your finger right on your chin and you wanna give yourself almost like a double chin and push that chin back. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna come down. What you wanna do is go straight back like this. You're gonna hold that and then come back. Hold that and come back. That's gonna allow the certain segments in your neck to get some motion back because you've been sleeping for a long time, probably on a bad pillow, perhaps, and you wanna get that motion back to help lubricate the joint again. As we do this, there's one thing that's really important. When you do this chin tuck, you're probably gonna feel that kink, whether it's on the left or the right. Now, do you push past that pain? No. You want to stay in a pain-free range of motion. So if you can only get a little bit of movement, that's okay. Even though in our body we can't see the big movements in the spine, you're getting enough motion in the segments that you need. And that's all you need to do. After the chin tuck, same thing, to get the blood flowing, you're going to do part two. So this is still part of getting blood flow back into the neck. What you wanna do is shoulder rolls, so you're gonna go like this. So now this is not difficult. You can kinda hold your hands down here, make a fist, bring it back down to your side. You're gonna squeeze and roll. Now make sure to go to the end range as you roll your shoulder blade and your shoulder. So you wanna go back, squeeze the shoulder blade back and down, go all the way up, all the way forward. And you're gonna repeat this five times forward like that and then you're gonna go five times back make sure you get at the end range and you're going all the way around so you want to go five times forward five times back now once you finish the shoulder rolls we're gonna go back to the chin tuck and do it again so we're gonna go here remember place your finger right here on your chin posteriorly translate back and forward and back only in the range that you're comfortable with. Now, if you feel that kink on whichever side, don't force it. So go smaller, and that's just enough. It might not seem like it's a big movement, but within the spine, it is getting just enough motion to get that joint to be lubricated, get the blood flowing, and using the muscles that weren't used because you're sleeping. Then you're gonna roll your shoulders back forward again, five times. Once you finish the five, you're gonna go backwards and make sure you get the whole range. If you want, you can use your whole arm just like that to get really far. Now this next part is gonna be a simple massage 
on the kink and around the kink. So for this example, let's say the kink is actually on the right side of my neck and I feel it, I'm gonna feel around and it's right around here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place two to three fingers and you wanna curl it a little bit. That's gonna just get you more firm um, pressure on that kink. So once we're on it, we're gonna slowly make circular motions. And at this point, we're just gonna look straight, okay? As we do this, now we wanna add in motion. So we're gonna look left, keep, cir keep that circular motion going, and we're gonna look right. And sometimes looking up and down is also difficult. So you wanna go into those motions. So you're gonna circle, maybe use the other hand because it's easier. You're gonna look down and then look up. Now you also wanna go above and below of that main area of where you feel the discomfort. So let's say the, the discomfort is right here. I'm gonna go above and do the same thing. Look left, keep that circular motion going. Look right, look up, look down. And we can even add a side bend left and right. So we're gonna bring our neck to the side and then back over to the other side. We're gonna keep that circular motion going the entire time. Now, if that motion Using the motion with the massage is too much. Just stick with your head straight and just circular motions. That's going to be enough. Maybe throughout the day as you get better or it feels better, you can start to add in the motion and come back to this part of the video. Now let's say your fingers aren't hard enough or you need more. Now you can use your knuckles like this. Because this knuckle is more bony, you're gonna get more firm pressure. But what I like to use personally is a simple tennis ball now you can go like this. You can go on the circular motion and go into the range of motion. And try to get as far as you can with the range of motion, with the combination of the massage to the area and above and below. That's gonna be the biggest key in getting this massage to get rid of that kink first thing in the morning. And finally, we're on to the last part of this exact formula on how to get rid of that kink in your neck. Now that we have the blood flow, and now that we've massaged a little bit of that muscle spasm out, now we're gonna slowly get into the stretching of this muscle. And this is a specific type of stretch called PNF. PNF stands for Proprioceptive Neuromuscular Facilitation. Big fancy word, you can throw it out the window, you probably don't need to know about it. So back to this PNF stretching. It's an isometric hold plus a passive stretch. Now, again, big words to use. So isometric just means that you're gonna hold against and push against, meet the resistance that you provide without actually moving your neck. After that, the passive stretch is actually you pushing over to get some range of motion back. So you're gonna relax your neck and you're gonna actually move your neck and I'm going to show you the exact way how to do this. So this PNF stretch, we're going to continue on with the example that the kink is in my right side of my neck. So if that is the case, I'm going to get my right hand, place it against the side of my head and I'm going to push against my hand and meet the resistance that I place. So as my head goes this way, my hand is pushing against it. Now there's no motion. That's what isometric is. So we're going to hold this, push, at a 25 to 50% contraction, which means push against your hand at a 25 to 50% force of what you can handle, okay? And you're gonna hold this for five seconds. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Now, after I push and do that isometric contraction, I'm going to stretch my neck back over like that, okay? And then we're gonna go back to this isometric hold. So we're gonna hold one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna do a stretch to lean into. So I wanna relax my next neck and actually use my hands to pull over. Now, as I do this, 
we can actually do this isometric PNF stretch at this range too. So I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna push back for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna gain more range of motion by pulling a little bit extra and feel deeper into that stretch. So by doing this PNF stretch, you can get rid of that kink because you're gonna get that range of motion back in your cervical spine or your neck. So as you do this, you're gonna go in all ranges of motion. So there's gonna be four that I want you to do. We're gonna go straight down and up. That's one and two, side to side, three and four. I like there's six and rotation left and right. So for example, you have a difficult time looking right because of that kink on the right side of your neck. You're gonna look right until you feel that kink kind of uh, spasming out. And you're gonna either use either hand, probably for this side, you're gonna use my other hand. I'm gonna push into it, just like that. And then I'm gonna stretch it more. And you're gonna notice, after you're doing this two, three, five times, you're gonna gain that range of motion back. And now when you head check, there's no discomfort. I hope you found value to this video and you're able to get rid of that annoying kink that you wake up with. If you found this video valuable, please like, subscribe, comment any questions or concerns, and I'll see you in the next video.